Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are using the cauldron die from Sizzix. This is one of their Biggs die and um, I'm just, it has all the different elements on this one little square die. So I'm just cutting apart some paper and going to place it, you know, in the different elements on the die. And then I'm going to run this through my cuddle bug. Yes, you can use a big Sizzix big die in your cuddle bug by just using your two A plates. And that sandwiches is in there just fine. If you find that you do need a little bit more pressure, just um, just add a layer of cardstock in there and that should uh, do it for you just fine. So this uh, cauldron die, it's, it's, it's really cool actually. And it's big, it takes up the whole front of an A2 size card and it would work great on an A7 size card too. And this cauldron, I've seen a lot of different cards done uh, Christmas theme using the cauldron as Santa's toy bag. So um, I'll be doing that later on uh, when I start my Christmas cards too. So I cut the cauldron out of Simon Says Stamp Glimmery cardstock and I cut the handle out of uh, some Tim Holtz metallic craft cardstock. I'm, I'm really starting to like that cardstock. I, I got several pieces of it in some different uh, kits and I really like it. So um, I watched a Tim Holtz video. You can sand it and do different things with it. So I really think I'm going to order some uh, packs of that stuff. This green is just some sandable paper that I had in my stash by Coordinations, I think. Uh, that's a solid core paper and this particular solid core paper has a lighter color shade of the color that's on the outside on the inside so it's kind of cool and so then to make it look kind of you know gross like a witch's brew I just added some uh, I think vintage photo to the outside of it and to give the pot some dimension I add some black soot uh, to the outer edges so I wanted this to be um really prominent really thick uh, so I cut everything out I think three more times and glued it all together so it's kind of almost like a chipboard piece really and with a big big die I could have just cut out a piece of chipboard if I had any but I don't so I just cut it out of uh, black cardstock so for my background I'm doing some ink blending I started with scattered straw then I'm going to go to Abandoned Coral, and then I'll go to Dusty Concord, and then to Black Soot. And I am blending on some Bristol. Although, um, you know, Bristol is definitely the easiest paper to blend on, but with Oxides, you could blend on Nina, and you get um, a really good result with that as well. So just in between the colors, I just run my baby wipe over my glass mat to just uh, clean it off so I don't contaminate the next color especially with the black and then I go back through all my colors again to get a real good blend and I kind of lost my abandoned coral a little bit so needed to add a little bit more of that back into there and then I in the end I decided I needed some ground for uh, the cauldron to sit on so I added some ground espresso to the bottom for to to ground my image and that worked out well and so um, I did not capture on camera when I did my splatters. I splattered, um, and then my pa paper was so big, I ended up cutting off most of my black soot. I should have went back and added some, but I didn't want to go back through all the blending process again, so I just kind of left it as is. But um, I think it would look better with uh, the black soot. Um, for my splatter, I just used... Um, some frost uh, shimmer spray um, and some Copic opaque white and then I in the end I will dot in with my uh, Signa Uniball pen and give some extra uh, stars into the sky and stuff. Just heat embossing a couple of sentiments um, from the Spook Up Some Fun stamp set. I've really gotten a lot of mileage out of this stamp set this season. It has so many great stamps in it. I just love it. I think it's an awesome stamp set. It did come in a card kit, but it is available uh, for individual pur 
purchase. And I'll have everything linked down below and over on my blog if you want to see the picture links. I did not wait until that ink blended piece was fully dry. So, um, you know, not real thrilled over the way that turned out, but I wanted to use that on the inside of the card. And, and so here you'll see, I, I first I inked up the spook up some fun uh, sentiment and I meant to stamp the have a wicked good Halloween. So in the final pictures, you will see that I redid this and I put on there, have a wicked good Halloween. Thought that went with a witch's cauldron better than the spook up some fun. So just using some cosmic shimmer glue to adhere my panel to my card base, which is Nina 110 pound solar white. And I will use some uh, glue to adhere this, the, uh, that to the inside as well. Okay, so what did I do there? I think I'm still just cleaning up. Okay, here we go. Here we go, gluing that piece to the inside. It does hang over a little bit, and I'll just trim that later whenever that's good and adhered down. Okay, now for the front, and I'm cleaning up again, because I keep getting smudges of ink <laughs> all over my card. But I thought, eh, it's a witch's brew cauldron card, so, uh, you know, I'm like, eh, it's okay. There's a witch's brew splatter everywhere. That's what I'm going to call it. Okay. So uh, off camera, I did die cut, you know, those additional pieces of the cauldron and glued everything together. And there's a slit in the top of the cauldron where you, you can, you know, s put in things or that, you know, puff of green, whatever. Um, but I made everything so thick that was kind of hard to do. So I decided to just pop up the very t top end of that with a couple little foam squares just to give it a little bit different of a height than the cauldron. And there's that have a wicked good Halloween. I'll just use some glue with that. Mash that down here. I'm adding a few extra little stars in the sky with my pen. And then the final embellishment on the card will be some nouveau drops with, uh, let's see, I used bottle green and apple green. And some of the more translucent colors take on a little bit of the color of the background. So just keep it that in mind that, um, you know, it is the, uh, this lighter color green that uh, took on a little bit of the color of the background. It's not as vibrant, which I really don't mind because um, the vibrant green, I didn't think really went as well as the darker green and so after it kind of took on some of the color it really matched that green squirrel thing coming out of the cauldron so you'll see that in the final pictures so that's it for this card we will see you soon in the next video mm -hmm.